I was going to wait until I bought white nail polish to paint my nails again, but I guess we're just going to have to make do. <laughs> I'm straight. <laughs> One of your comments already said it, but how are you going to think about what other dudes are doing 24-7 then call yourself straight? Huh? It's okay to be jealous. Just say it. And like the raging alcoholic I am, I do have pretty bad hand tremors, so this isn't easy. But I like this, but we're gonna do some more. Aha! Oh, this is challenging. I don't even do this shit. It's out of my comfort zone. Um, but while we're on the topic of comfort, it's okay to be uncomfortable. Just don't reflect that onto other people by being hateful towards people who are doing what you wish you could, or you don't understand. Um, because that's what makes toxic masculinity a thing. I'm pulling up with an emo chick that's broken. This that college dropout music. Every day like this, she be stupid. And my friends are all annoying. But we go dumb, yeah, we go stupid. Homeless people just get a job. Okay, what about they don't have a computer or, or a printer to make a resume? What do they do for that? Uh, you can probably go to the library and get one. Okay, let's say that they have a library card and can do that. Um, what about contact information? How is an employer going to contact them? And let's say they do get an interview, okay? How are they going to look at the interview in a way that employers find desirable? Okay, and let's just say that they do get the job, okay? Most jobs don't pay in cash, so they're going to need a bank account. And what do you need for a bank account? A home, bro. An address. But let's just say that they do get paid in cash, okay? They still can't buy a house because the bank has no proof of income to give them a mortgage. Unless they plan on saving up $500,000 or more of cash so they can buy a house with no mortgage. Where are they gonna keep that cash safely? Their home? Their bank account? So is there any statistical proof you can give me that women have it worse than men and men? Women are 47% more likely to suffer severe injuries in car crashes because safety features are designed for men. 33,000 girls become child brides every day. Women in rural parts of Africa spend 40 billion hours a year collecting water. At the rate we're going, it will take 108 years to close the gender pay gap. As of right now, only six countries give women equal legal work rights as men. And for every female film character, there are 2.24 more men. Just your friendly neighborhood feminist trying to knock down toxic masculinity. Doing my best. Ta, 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 da, da, da. Doing my best. Ta, 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 da, da, da. Let's go find out. Hi. What do you think? Oh my gosh, you are so gorgeous. Thank you. If I see a man in a dress, I think he's a crackhead. I would never allow my kids near a man that's wearing a dress. It's not normal. It's completely not normal. You are all disgusting. Stop. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Get my pretty name out of your mouth. We are not the same with or without. Don't talk about me like how you might. Being angry? You just do assaulted I, me. Do I look angry to you? And would but you he, know what assault means? Well, he, I, he, I'm telling you that your lack of logic <laughs> will lose you the argument when you say, "Yeah, man, like people shouldn't judge people, but like this is he's not a man because he's wearing a dress." No, no, never once did I said he's not a man for wearing a dress. Well, you said it's not manly, what, right? As a whole, my rebuttal is this: I saw this cover and I said, "That's something I would do." If someone was like, "Yo, you want to like make a statement and wear a dress on the cover of Vogue as a man?" I'd say, "Yeah, sure." And then if Candace Owens said, bring back manly men because Logan did this, I go, what about me is not manly to you, Candace? So what? my question is, what about Harry is not manly that warrants her making that statement? Okay, that's if, what I'm saying. If you, if, you, if you had a boy whose mind was completely blank 
four year old and you yeah, said, Is that a man? And it's a man wearing a dress, he'd say, Yeah. <laughs> but if you laid out a dress on the bed and be like, Oh, who's gonna wear this? Traditional based female. God, I can see that girl's nipples. Yes, Jimmy, girls have nipples too. So what? So the fuck what? She doesn't have a bra on. So the fuck what? I can see them. She making you see them? She knows what she's doing. Nothing! Yo, uh, first of all, emo is a style, not a culture, so you're not gonna get as much attention for this as you'd like. Uh, second of all, I might have not had an emo phase, but Thank God I'm at least not the gum on the bottom of the internet shoe. Huh. Oh, wait. Ooh! If you're a boy and you don't understand why women simp so hard for feminine men, let me break it down for you. First of all, look at him. But second of all, boys have this idea in their head that women find femininity ugly and unattractive and weak and really we don't. You assume that we think femininity is a bad thing when actually you do? And if you are a girl and your immediate thought is like, oh my god, why is he dressing like a woman, as if that's a bad thing, then you have internalized misogyny, but that's another problem. And I'm not saying that this has to be your type, but if you see it as a bad thing, then you're definitely part of the problem. But what women actually find unattractive is toxic masculinity. And no, you don't have to wear a dress and makeup and nail polish to prove you don't inherit that quality, although you would look hot as fuck if you did. But you are not allowed to judge other men for what makes them feel confident and powerful, especially if you're belittling women in the process. For real, for real though, I love myself a man who can curb stomp toxic masculinity all while looking fierce, throwing some sparkles, wearing some leopard print, some makeup, like give me that shit all day long. Notice how these are all common heartthrobs. What do you think they all have in common? What's the theme? Yeah, this is him. Okay. What? What went through your head today uh, that made you think that video was a good idea? Maybe wait till your baby's old enough to actually comprehend what gay means before you start teaching him that he is gay. Wouldn't want him to feel like he's disappointing you when he finds out that he might be straight. The Cam Hig Beehive House has done it again. Diving headfirst into the point and still somehow missing it. As she clearly pointed out at the end of the video, she knew that what she was saying sounded ridiculous. She was trying to demonstrate how ridiculous it is that we always assume that all children will grow up to be straight. Gay people are forced to come out in fear of disappointing their parents, just like you said, because of our heteronormative society. Like, we live in a society that normalizes calling two-year-old boys ladies' men. And her video was pointing out that it's ridiculous to assume a child's sexuality before they even have an understanding of what sexuality is, like you said. So... Like, what were you trying to do here? If you wear a dress, you're probably gonna have a hard time getting laid. See, I got you all figured out. Huh? Okay, sure. No, God, no atheism. No hole in your logic and your comments wouldn't be roasting the absolute fuck out of you, but uh, here we are. Damn. I look sexy today. Damn. I look sexy today. Damn, still sexy. You know why? Because it doesn't matter what clothing you wear. As long as you feel sexy, you're sexy. I just fucking realized. People who say Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, are so fucking dumb. Because the apple is a metaphorical apple. They use fruit to symbolize sex in the Bible. He fucked Lucifer. My kids are allowed to tell me no. They have a voice and I want to hear it. I want them to make decisions. So they are allowed to say no, but there are rules. Guidelines? I don't know, there's more to it. Most importantly, you have to be polite. If they've politely declined, they'd better be ready to explain themselves.
plead their case. I always encourage conversation. We're developing critical thinking skills and communication. So say I ask my daughter to clean her room and she says, no thanks, I don't really want to right now. She's not getting in trouble for that. I mean, I get it. I look at messes I have to clean all the time and think, yeah, I don't feel like it. I have quick conversations. I remind her that she can't earn her privileges until her responsibilities are complete. She'll remind me that she already knows that and then she'll tell me her plan and when she plans to get things done. Usually she follows through. Sometimes she needs reminding. I always want my kids to feel safe and comfortable saying no, and that starts with me. I respect my kids in the same way I want them to respect me. I don't think you can earn respect by demanding obedience. You earn respect by earning trust. <laughs> Suppose it's all true, mm. and you walk up to the pearly gates and you are confronted by God. What will Stephen Fry say to him, her, or it? I will basically, what's known as the Odyssey, I think I, I'll say, bone cancer in children? What's that about? How dare you? How dare you create a world in which there is such misery that is not our fault? It's not right. It's utterly, utterly evil. Why should I respect a capricious, mean-minded, stupid God who creates a world which is so full of injustice and pain? That's what I'd say. And you think you're going to get in no, on that? No, but I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to get in on his terms. They're wrong. Avoiding the argument because it's not worth the fight is kind of like using an emotional credit card, right? So those feelings or those needs or that thing in you that's not being seen, you'll just kind of push off for another time. Or, uh, or you'll dress it up in a nice way. You'll be like, ah, I can just be content. I can just let it go. I can just relax, you know, and you'd push it off. But over years, that debt starts to accumulate. And it feels like, I don't know, loneliness, emotional distance. Um, anger you know we can feel resentful of the other person for not listening to us all those years but the reality is there was times that we bit our tongue there was times that we traded feeling heard for feeling safe so i already know a lot of people made this point but i want to say it too i hate those people who are like oh my god here's styles and timothy shallow me are ending toxic masculinity they're so feminine it's like so different they're creating a whole new era but then they say why are these K-pop idols like wearing makeup? Why do they like, they all look like girls. They look like girls. Is he, why is he wearing a crop top? Why is he? Sis, do you just not like it because they're not white? Is that, is that, is that what the issue is? Cause, cause that's what it sounds like to me. Asia's been in the game for much longer than Timothy and Harry. Yaha. Uh -huh. No hate to Harry or Timothy. I, I like them both. I think they're great. Let's not forget. Toy Minky from Newest, he been had been saying that clothing doesn't define your gender since forever ago. Toy Minky walked, so Timothy Chalamet and Harry Styles could run. Prove me wrong, prove me wrong, Seth. I'm sure there are other idols who've said that before, but Minky comes to mind. Yo! Hi God, it's me, the white male. I'd like to understand the nature of the privilege I am feeling, my God. I didn't even know this was a thing. My wife sent me this video and I was like, what the fuck? So I did some research. Listen to this malarkey. An analysis of billing records from 1,355 insured female rape survivors found that in 2013 they paid an average of $948 out of pocket for prescription drugs in hospital and patient or outpatient services during the first three days after their assault. That amount represented 14% of the total cost of the study found. This is one of those times where I'm hoping that my comment section will only be, yeah, man, that's like real fucked up. We should change that. I know that's not going to be the case, but a uh, man can dream, can he? On the real, though, this is terrible, and no one should have to pay anything out of pocket during this process at all. I think period products should be free because it's a necessity that people need. Oh, come on. What? You're gonna, next thing you know, you're going to say you want toilet paper to be free, too, because people need that? Huh? Is that it? Yes. Oh, and what's next? Food? You want food to be free? You want everyone just to, the government just hand out food like that? <laughs> Yes. Oh my God. Oh, next thing you know, you're gonna you're gonna be saying you want houses to be free. You want you want there to be free houses everywhere. You want everyone to have houses for free. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yes. 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 100%. Okay. So if you want about all that shit to be free, then what's the point of money, huh? What's the point of money? Mm, you're so close. You're so close. What? So if everyone can just have shit for free, there's there's no point of money. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That money is pointless. 
it's arbitrary. It's a construct we made up. <laughs> oh my god, it's a construct. Look at that boy, he's so feminine. What, Jimmy? What did he do? He's so feminine. And so what? What's wrong with that? Bro, in the Bible it says, Bible it says do not judge. Ooh, someone's going to hell. Can I speak on some toxic masculinity for a second? I've been wanting to do this fashion trend for a minute where men wear scarves over their hats and it looks really cool to me. But the reason why I haven't done it is because I'm really scared of being called sus or people thinking that I look gay or whatever it is, right? Now, if that's not toxic, I really don't know what is. So today, we're doing it. I just wanna let you men know something. It's physically impossible to look gay. To be gay means that you are attracted to the same gender as yourself, okay? Now, not only is it extremely offensive when you say shit like that, it's also completely inaccurate, okay? And if you can't let a gay person dress the way that they want without being stereotyped, then fuck you. And if you can't let a straight man be dressed the way that they want, then fuck you. I definitely don't want your follow and I definitely don't want your like. And hype me up in the comments, cause this low key looks cool. And I was scared to do this, bro. Oh my gosh, man. Just be nice to each other, please.